Living Seed Media brings to you God's Word, which is His comprehensive equipment for changing lives. May the Lord impact your heart as you encounter His Word. For further inquiry or counsel, contact Peace House, P.O. Box 971, Boko, Benue State, Nigeria. Telephone numbers 0703 03636 59 0703 768 Email address lsmedia at livingseed.org or visit our website at www.livingseed.org Let us sit back and listen as the servant of God brings forth the word of life. Notable men are not made in the public. What did I say? Notable men are not made in the public. Enduring vessels, that is those who will be in God's service for many, many years, and they will not dissipate. There's a secret place where God makes them. And actually, God specializes in the secret place. There is very little power in the public. The potent the most potent power that could be exercised in any place is usually the power generated in the secret place. In the secret place of personal communion with God. I want you to read Psalm 91. Psalm 91. I know you are familiar with Psalm 91. I want you to read Psalm 91 very quickly. Psalm 91 says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. Again, I want you to note something there. He that dwells, not he that visits occasionally. Eh? He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And the rest of all the things that the word of God says in that chapter was based on this man who dwells where? In the secret place of the Most High. Which means the place of the Most High is where? It's in the secret place. Where you will encounter God and meet him and have very serious experience of God is never really in the public. So, if a man wants to be an arrow in the hand of God and he does not know how to have the secret place where God can encounter him, that man is joking. If you have a man who speaks so loud but God has not located him in the secret place where he empowers him, that man is an empty barrel making empty noise. There is no power in the public.
the only place where power is generated is in the secret place. So when I hear God talking about build me an altar, create a space where me and you can meet in the secret place. That means that's where I make my men. That's where I transform them. That is where I empower them. That is where I sharpen them. That's where I give them all that I want them to know and to do for me. And you will see, say, that man shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Then the rest of the passage. Now I was telling what happens to that man that dwells in the sacred place. So I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. So when a man has learned to dwell in the sacred place, then God becomes what? His refuge. God becomes his fortress. There is no, nothing that can penetrate to tamper with that man because he has learned to dwell where? In the secret place of the Most High. Surely, he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. So before I begin to talk about how to build that personal altar, that secret place with God, I want you to first see what will be the benefit of it. He will deliver you from what? The snare of the fowler. What's the meaning of the word snare? What's, the word, what's a snare? The trap. The trap. So you see, Whereas the fowler, the devil, is looking for someone to snatch, someone to devour, someone to, to, to eat up, and someone to kill. When a man knows how to dwell in the sacred place, even the fowler will do you no harm. He said, he will deliver you from the snare the trap. The father is setting his trap. But because right in the sacred place, God is saying, look, that's the trap the devil has set for you today. Bypass this road. And then the devil will say, how did he know? How did he know? How did he know my secret? We know the secret of the devil from where? The sacred place. We see the strategy of Satan. Even what he has not even opened his mouth to say. But which is just planning. In the secret place of the Most High. Heaven reveals it. There were some brothers that dwelt in the secret place. A man like Elisha. Many of you, you love the power of Elisha, isn't it? You love his anointing. I hear many people say, I want, I, want, I want God to make me another Elijah here. Eh? Who will call down the fire? Who will send the rain? Lord, I want another Elijah here. Listen. Elijah was not made on Mount Carmel. Elijah was made where? In the secret place. If you remember him, Elijah came and spoke just a small word. Many of us would think Elijah was doing like this and doing like this. No! He simply came out from the secret place and he said to Ahab, As the Lord liveth, before whom I stand. Excuse me, where, where is God before whom he stands? Talk to me. Where? In the sacred place. Say, look, before whom I stand, 
there shall be no rain nor dew in the next three and a half years until I come to say so. And he went away. As if he has put the key in his pocket. And all the rainmakers of, 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 of Ahab, they tried. All the gods that they know how to call, they called. Somebody has kept the key in his pocket and he has gone away. Where is that man dwelling? Where? In the secret place. You see, we cannot, you see, we have been talking to you, yeah, hey, God will use you, God will use you. We have to take you to where God makes men. That's why this is very important to me. If we promise you, God will use you mightily. And we don't take you to the place where God makes men. We have deceived you. Because nothing will happen. That's why this Bible study, you have not studied it. You will go back and look to it because your destiny in becoming something for God lies in it. There is no magic about becoming a man of God. That is the secret where he makes them. And if I can have several young people who write immediately, they will follow me to that secret place and say, Oh God, I learned that you are the one who made Elijah. You are the one who made Moses. You are the one who made this man called Elisha. You are the man who made Paul. Where did you make them? Since you are not a respecter of persons, why are you watching me grow old and nothing is coming out of my life? And you hear God say, you will know when you report at the sacred place. Are you hearing? Brothers, are you hearing? Sisters, do you want to have power with God? Eh? That's the place. That's the place. And unless you know how to come to that place and build yourself a, a, an altar where you and God are saying now you see I have come many of the things we are saying will not last so when Elijah said to that man as the Lord lived before whom I stand no rain here and he went. You know, as he left again, are you hearing me? Huh? As he left, I was thinking that since he had done that and there is no rain, then he'll be going everywhere and they say, Come and see the man of God who locks up the rain. <laughs> Let me tell you if he has abandoned his private secret altar, he will have also lost power. So when he finished speaking to Ahab in 1 Kings chapter 18, I mean verse chapter 17, the Lord said to him, and the Lord said to Elijah, go and hide yourself by the brook Cherith. The secret of continuous power is in the secret place. So what we are sharing with you today is a secret that you will carry for the rest of your years if you are going to be relevant. And if South Africa is going to experience an outburst of revival through your life, 
we must take you to that place. And you will say, God, ah, is that what you are asking for me? And as you give yourself to it, we will see God beginning to do eternal things by your own hand also. Hallelujah. And do you know that it is from that place that there's no he will cover you with his feathers under his wings thou shalt trust his truth shall be your shield and buckler you will not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flies by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday those things will not worry you those things will not bother you those things will not be you know in the equation of your discussion all the time because where you are those things cannot come a thousand shall fall at your sight tens of thousand at your right hand but it will not do what it will not come near you never will it come near you why say only with your eyes you will see you will behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord. Which is my refuge. Even the most high. Your habitation. So you see. We are not looking for people. Who praise once a wife. We are not looking for people. Who it's only when. The devil when they had a dream. And a demon pressed them down. Press, yeah, 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 she, Jesus, 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 Jesus. We're not looking for that. We're not, <laughs> we're not looking for such. Such persons, there's nothing with them. They can't do anything for God. We're looking for those who will make the Lord their habitation. That's where they are dwelling. That's where they are living their lives. Day by day. And because of that, no evil shall be for you. Neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands. Lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Now all of this is only for those who do what? Who dwell where? In the secret place. And he said, You will tread upon what? Upon serpent and other dangerous, dangerous things. They will be under your feet. Young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under your feet. What brought all of those things? What brings them under your feet? Is because you are connected where? In the secret place. Even the dragon will just be under your feet. And they say, why is it that we couldn't overthrow this man? He's always just trampling us under. It's because he is drawing power from where? From the sacred place. Now let's read something a little more. Now in the New Testament, the Lord Jesus was, he called his disciples 
Now, why I decided to start this Bible study summary from this angle is because if you don't understand that where God makes his men is the reason we are laying this study before you, you might just think it's one study and you are going away. And yet in my mind, even if I could not teach you anything else, but I introduce you to where God makes men, where God is making me, then I know that in another one or two, three, four years, people like me will have multiplied in your midst. Because there is no other secret. If you go to where God makes a man like me, he will make you. But if you want to be in the general class, when some of us come out and just, we just say, Hallelujah! You say, Amen! And I say, Catch your miracle! And you, you try. And you struggle. <laughs> if you want to be like that, so that some guys will just be using you as preaching practice. But if you want to become a man, that God also used. You want to become someone that when we don't come to South Africa again, you have taken over. And you are doing great work for God. And they say, how did that happen to you? They, they introduced us to where God makes them themselves and we got there how many of you want to get to that point that's the issue that's the issue that's where we get all the bible revelation sometimes when I'm reading the bible I say ah where did he get it ah this man you know bible no there's nothing about that it is in that place. Would you like to come to that place? Yes. Eh? Yes. That's why we are. That's what we are trusting God for. That's what we want the Holy Spirit to do with you. When God does it, we can go and sleep. Because we have linked you with the very source. You can collect directly. So, when Jesus had called his disciples and he had been wanting to take them to the secret of his own anointing. If you know that even Jesus, the secret of his own anointing is in that secret place. Say a great while before day. While everybody is still sleeping. What has Jesus gone? He has gone to that solitary place. When they call it solitary, what's the meaning of solitary? Solitary, secret. Nobody disturbs him there. Secret. To meet with God. One time he sent his disciples to go and preach. Do you remember? Eh? They were going, they were going. They didn't know where the power comes from. He sent them, said, Go and cast out demons, heal the sick. You know, in my name, just heal the sick, just cast out demons. Anywhere you see demons, check them out. Just go. When they were going, what did he do? He went back to the mount in the secret place and he was operating the power. So that even if a Judas is carried, even Judas, you remember who Judas is? <laughs> even Judas, <laughs> when he said, in Jesus' name, demons were just running away. And, and Judas said, ah, me also. <laughs> Why is the devil even running away and subject to even me? Uh -huh. They came back. 
Jesus said yes. Don't rejoice about that. It is not for you. It's me. I behead Satan fall down from heaven like a lightning. Where did he behold Satan fall down? Where? In the sacred place. What you have not seen happen in your secret place, you will not see it happen in the public. Are you hearing me at all? So, Jesus, look at this. In Matthew chapter 6, this was when he has taken his disciples to the mount and he was teaching them things, secrets. Secrets of the kingdom. So, in chapter 6, chapter 6, you will see what he said from verse 5. Verse 5. And when thou prayest, when you pray, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray. Where? Talk to me. They love to pray standing in the synagogue and in the corner of the streets that they may be seen of men. Verily I say to you, they already have their reward. Some people, it is when we come for general prayer like this, meeting like this, they say, Jesus! Hey! Jesus! 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 Empty prayer. Empty prayer. There is little power in public praying. Effective praying is praying in the secret. He said, but you, are you in number six, all of you? Matthew 6, 6. But you, when you pray, do what? Enter into what? Eh? Go into your closet. And when thou hast done what? Shut your door. Did you hear Jesus now say, when you want to pray, do what? Enter where? Into your closet. And do what? Shut the door. Ah. Why should somebody shut the door because he wanted to pray? Because genuine prayer is secret praying. Powerful prayer. Effective prayer is a prayer in the secret. I will show you why now. Because unless we take you to that place where God makes men, we can be talking from now to 10 years. We won't get much. Enter into your closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to your father, which is where? In secret. And your father, which sees in secret, shall reward you openly. Did you get me? Excuse me. Where is your father? It's in secret. I'm sorry to tell you, you won't find God in the open like this. As soon as you close 
the door into your closet. And Baba looked left and right and found that, yes, you are now in the secret place. Then he will do what? He will appear. How many of you are going to create the secret place after this meeting? Aha. Aha. God will help you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When you begin to do that, oh, nobody can predict the kind of manifestation of God that will be coming to you, even as a young man. I don't want you to grow gray hair like I am before you will enter into what I'm talking about. I want you to enter into it as a young man so that you can gain power when you still have life to operate. Amen. Daniel was a man who had a secret place. You remember when the king dreamt a dream and nobody knew what he dreamt and the man himself has forgotten his dream? Do you remember somebody dreamt a dream? He forgot it. He doesn't know what he dreamt about. Now he now calls people and says, I dreamt a dream yesterday. <laughs> and all of you, if you cannot remind me my dream and tell me the meaning of it, you are going to die. Ah, ah. <laughs> the astrologer said, ah, what are you talking about? Even at all, you have even told us the dream. At least we will start looking for how to understand it. But you don't even know your dream. You can't remember and you are saying, ah, ah. Only the gods can do what you are asking us to do. Then Daniel said, tell the king that by this time tomorrow, I will bring him the result of his dream. What gave him that authority? He knew where to go. Where did he go? He went into his own closet. Shut the door. He told the other brother, said, brothers, there's a matter here, but I've told the king that we'll bring him the many of his dream tomorrow. They prayed a bit, then they all went, and then he went into his secret place. Once he shut the door like this, shut the door like this, and he was there alone, and God said, huh, have you left everybody outside? I said, yes. Have you closed the door? He said, yes. Can I come down now? He said, yes, sir. I don't like to come in the public. I like to only come in the secret. And then God said, concerning the dream that Nebuchadnezzar had, this, this is what he had. He had this dream like this, like this, like this, like this. And this is the meaning of this. Tomorrow morning, go and tell him. Aha. That's where power is. It's not in research. There's no power in journalism. Some of you are journalists for, you are going about saying, excuse me, and do you know what happened? And this, and this, and this, and this. They are talking, cha, 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 everywhere. If you are a journalist, you have no power. But if you will learn to come into the secret place, even the secret intent of people's heart. What is in them that they have not told anybody. You will be revealing it. Ah, who told him? Who told him? Ah, who told him that that's what I was thinking in my heart? Who told him that that is what that, that young man sent to me yesterday? How did he know? How did he know? Mm -hmm. We know. Where do we get it? Inside. Your father, which is in secret, and your father, which is yet in secret, what will he do? 
he shall reward you openly. But when you pray, use not vain repetition as the hidden do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. We're not talking of much speaking. There is no power in much speaking. Is that okay? There's power in abiding in the secret place. So when Jesus wanted his disciples to discover that, he began to tell them because that's what he practices every day. One time, he wanted his disciples, listen, he has asked them, who do men say, I the son of man, ah, and they say, you are this, you are this, okay. Then he called three of them. He called three of them. He called Peter, James, John, said, follow me. I'll take you to a place. <laughs> Lord, please take me to that place. That's the prayer I'm praying. Lord, take me to that place. Take me to the place where you make men. Where you transfigure them. Where eternal things happen. Jesus took them. I was saying, why did he need to take them to a mountain apart? He said, he took them to a mountain apart. This is Matthew 17. And when they got to the place, the Bible says, and he was praying. And as he was praying, the Bible said he was transfigured. before their eyes. He became white. The cloth he was wearing became so white that the Bible says it's as white as the sun. Nothing can be whiter than that. And while he was praying, <laughs> Elijah came down. Moses came down to discuss with him. Why didn't they come? When he was in the midst of the crowd, eh -eh. great things don't happen in the midst of the crowd. Powerful things don't take place in the midst of the crowd. And sometimes, even the crowd, four people can already become a crowd. And God said, No, you're a crowd here. Yeah, I don't need four people here. To facilitate that secret place of divine making. I remember many years ago, I was, I was preaching here and there. And one day I was going for a meeting. And the Lord just stopped me on the way. And he said, build me an altar so that I can have space to deal with your life. Hmm. I was wondering, God, Jesus, I am here, Holy Ghost, I am here. I said, not on the road. <laughs> not on the road. I don't make men on the road. Why it is good for you to pray when you are driving? Is that okay? You should pray when you are driving. You should pray when you are diving. Eh, yeah, well, you know, some of you, you are diving into water and then you are saying, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> All of that is okay. I don't, I don't mind it. But that's not where God makes men. He doesn't make them where they are diving. It doesn't make them where they are driving. It doesn't make them where they are chatting. It doesn't make them where they are eating and chewing. It doesn't make them where they are tasting soup. So let me taste that too. Mm -mm. the place where he makes them and makes them powerful 
is in the secret place where they have prepared a platform where God can meet them. Hallelujah. 